What's up guys, Kenny here and welcome to my setup and room tour video with the new Canon 600D camera there you can see so we'll move on as you can see we're going into the wardrobe here and we have bags, bags and more bags bags for days so we've just got loads of them, we've then got a load of clothes We've also got a load of stuff I'm giving away and giving to charity and that etc to uh, just help them out a bit, let's focus that. So as you can see I've just got loads of stuff. So we'll move on to the other half of the wardrobe and we'll have a see what we have. We've got again the rest of that bag you may have seen before, a pair of slippers, some more clothes, a pair of Nike Elites, a pair of random high tops. In here we have, as you can see, my deodorant and etc. We have a load of hairspray that is really grubby that bottle as you can see. So um, as you can see that one is pretty grubby. I do apologise guys I'm just getting used to the autofocus on this new camera. As you can see we have some deodorant and also some aftershave in there. Absolutely love the pack over about 1 million and I'm currently wearing a lot of the diesel as well. So there's a load of belts, we have an electric razor, I don't really use that anymore as you can see it's not got a razor head on. Some watches there, an ice one and a diesel watch. Let's zoom out, there we go. And we've also got a load of belts, uh, that's sort of just my belt for school and I've got a load of random other belts in there. As well as some hats at the back there as well. We also, down here we have a load of sports stuff, we have some tracksuit bottoms there, we have tops at the back there, we have some shorts, and on that side we have some swimming trunks, so that's just what we have in there. So moving out of there, or in case you wanted to see what's in the drawer, not that you would, but we have a load of socks, this drawer was literally overflowing with socks yesterday, I've thrown so many socks out, it's unbelievable, and we have the underwear drawer if anyone really wanted to see in there. So we then have a pair of shoes that I wear for work, nice pair of brown brogues, there are some, some of the shoes that I wear for work. So moving on we have the bed, we have some teddies, I've had this one literally since the day I was born, I've just had that for absolutely ages now, and that one the dog tends to play with, so that's just what he wants to play with, and a red sparkly pillow using the double bed. If you have a look guys, you can actually see if I put the camera, you can see it goes down there a little bit. Um, that is where I sleep, it is a memory foam bed, so it's sort of a mattress and it is moulded to where I sleep in my body shape. Let me just put the camera down there for two seconds while I open this drawer, and you can have a see what's in here. As you can see the drawer, I've had some heavy stuff in over the years, so it has sank a little bit. So now we've done that, let's have a look what's in here. You can see we've got iPhone 5 box. We have my Canon box under there, uh, just loads of boxes to be honest, a load of old phone cases and etc. So that's just what we've got in there. We have an unboxing on this Kingston Mobileite G3 coming soon, so be sure to stick around and subscribe if you want to see that. Oh and we also have an iPhone 4 box in there. So now moving on, we'll just close that drawer, as you can see we have the nice brown bedding so outside it has been raining typical England let's be honest we look at the state of it in here we have the matching money boxes really like them to be honest I've had them ages I mean I think I got them free to be honest I've a mum or something like that we have a random gear stick pen which I broke cleverly I mean it's really smart to be honest I really did like it I mean look you can see the uh, numbers and the gear knob there. So it was a pen, but I mean, again, it's just a bit broken to be honest. Moving around, again I have a drawer under there. But that's also been, that's just full of clothes and that, so we, uh, we're not going to have a look in there. Here I have a clock, to be honest it's just a Tesco's basic clock. But that's just, it just does me fine. On the top drawer we have remotes, and we have my wallet, and just that's about it for there. This is the drawer where all the rubbish goes, anything that's not currently being used gets ended up in here. Some nice little plastic shot glasses you can put around your neck, rarely use them, but it's a nice little thing to have. I used to be addicted to this stuff. In that one time, I've still got loads. Dad brought me back 18 from America because that was the only place you could get it at the time. In here we have 
some BB guns. See if we focus again. We have a Maplin charger, a random phone holder that I made in design and technology. I'll put my I'll put my phone in it later, so we'll leave it out. We have a random Armani sunbox sunglasses case. We have a keyring, which when you think about it, guys, if you look at how many keyrings on there, I was actually thinking about this before, and that on average six euros is how much my dad pays them because he gets them all for me when he travels around the world. That's because he works away a lot. There's around 20, I mean, you can see I've got some that can't even get on anymore. That's actually worth over £100, guys, just in keyrings. Quite ridiculous. Under there, I actually have a PSP that I found yesterday when clearing out my room. I forgot I even had that, to be honest. I mean, it must be so old now. It's it's the original PSP. Then you can see we're using the BMW Zeppelin Mini speaker. Really nice speaker. And the Blue Yeti mic. The Blue Yeti mic. For the screen, we're using an Acer monitor with an Apple desktop background. We're then using the MX5500 Logitech keyboard and mouse set. Really do like these, really nice set to be honest. We're then using the iPhone 5. Just like my iPhone at the minute to be honest. I'd, I'd rather have that than a Samsung Galaxy S4, which I had the option of getting. So you can see, iPhone. We then have an Acer laptop, which to be honest, it's not the not the greatest, but it did me well for a while. But then using a Samsung TV, let's. I'm sorry, guys. I do apologise to keep auto focusing. I'm, it's getting a bit of a habit now. I've just worked out how to do it, and I'm quite enjoying the function. We've then got the standard Xbox controller, and this is my old tripod. I've got a new one coming this week. It's, it's going to be good when I get a new one because that one's not really great to be honest. It's a bit unsturdy. I mean, look, watch. We'll just kick it over. Wait. So it's not really great to be honest. I used to play professionally for Macclesfield Town, so that's why I have that there. So it's just sort of a, uh, a memory. We have all my footballing trophies. You can see we went on tour to Holland. We uh, we won the cup this year. There, I think I won most improved player, and I've got all sorts from over the years. And you can see that's from this year. We won the cup and we won the league. So that was really one of the best seasons for us. We um, then have Home Alone, my personal favourite DVD of all time. I absolutely love this thing. You can see my games. I've got Hangover Part 2, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 2. Goal in there. Some random books. I mean, that's Gladiator there. I don't even, didn't even know they had a book of that until I found it yesterday. You should have seen how much stuff I had when I was clearing out yesterday. From School and Design and Technology, we have some of this great stuff. This chair I made, I made a bigger version for my final product, but that's just a little model I made. I mean, it took me about 10 minutes to make, so it's not the best quality. We have a random stand, which actually had a literally a real life-size gun on it, but according to the teacher, it wasn't appropriate for me to take home in case it scared anyone, even though it was blatantly wood. My Winnie the Pooh uh, pen pot, really do like that. had that a while since I went to Florida when I was younger, and I've just sort of kept it ever since. We have a random pair of BMX bar ends, if you know what they are, but... That's not too important. Then finally to finish off, I'll let you have a look under the desk and in the final drawers. So we have my custom PC. Absolutely love that thing. That's literally what keeps me going and I, it won't focus. Don't let me down. There. Perfect. And we have the Xbox 360 Slim Matte 250GB version. We then have the camera stuff. We have my D booklet. We have the the uh, lens caps, Canon random digital camera, my old dual. I mean, look at that camera. That is that's what got me started. And we have the big iPhone 5 screen protectors. I'm just going to get through this because I don't really want it to go on too much longer. We have let's focus on that because this is the more important draw. We have the Beats by Dre Studio. Under there we have my iPad Mini. I don't really use that anymore. Beats by Dre Tour, some Skull Candies, and my Beat Bang & Olufsen A8 headphones are in there, if we can focus. There you can see them. We have the Jawbone Jambox Mini Review, which will be coming out soon, this bad boy here. We have a pair of Intempo speakers, a pair of Gear 4 speakers, a pair of Logic 3 speakers, and another pair of Logic 3 speakers under that, and a Lava Long Speaker. So we've got 15 seconds left. Can we get in the bottom drawer? Yes, we can. And we have the Cables drawer. That is where I keep all my cables. I like to keep things tidy with elastic bands. This has been my room tour. This is getting on to 10 minutes. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching, guys.